Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about Paul's second missionary journey. Uh, so in Acts 15, he was in Jerusalem with Barnabas, and they were discussing with the apostles the issue of circumcision and whether the Gentiles need to be circumcised. That was what we call the Jerusalem Council. And so, so Jerusalem, if you look on the map here, you, so where Paul went on his first missionary journey was right about here, uh, which was the province of Galatia. Um, and he, he spent, and that, that was the majority of his work on his first missionary uh, journey. And so he he comes down here then to Jerusalem, where he meets with the apostles uh, who decide, who agree with him, agree with that message that's in the book of Galatians. Um, well, so uh, then in Acts, uh, at the end of Acts 15, Paul and Barnabas, uh, they talk to each other and they say, hey, let's go back and visit the brothers that uh, that we saw on our first trip. Um, let's see. Where's my Bible? There it is. Uh, so uh, Acts Acts chapter fifteen. Let's go. Let's go see how, where. Let's go back to every town where we preach the word of the Lord and see how they're doing. And so Barnabas wanted to take along John Mark, um, but Paul said no. He ditched us last time. Uh, so uh, they had a sharp disagreement, and so Barnabas takes Mark, and they go down to Cyprus. Uh, Paul. Then he chooses Silas, and they head up uh, through Syria and Cilicia, uh, and actually up up through where near where Paul's from. Uh, so, so if you look on the map, uh, this this line just shows where Paul or Barnabas and Mark they go down here to Cyprus, uh, and that's the last we hear about them. Uh, we just don't know what they went on to do, but God was multiplying his work to take the gospel to the ends of the earth, uh, and the, the missionary team has now multiplied. We have Paul and, but Paul and Silas, then they come up this way. Uh, Paul's hometown was Tarsus, but they come up through uh, Cilicia as this area, and then on to, oh, we kind of went fr from Cilicia. They they come up to Derby and Lystra, which you recognize from the first missionary journey. And it's there that uh, in verse 16, and not verse, chapter 16, uh, in Derby and Lystra, there was a disciple named Timothy. And Timothy, he's going to be important. There's a book in the Bible, two books in the Bible named after him. Uh, and and he had, he was a, a new believer. His you know mother and grandmother were were both uh, Jewish women who who believed also, uh, and so uh, Timothy uh, joins in with Paul. Paul takes Timothy and says says come with me. He circumcises Timothy, which is kind of interesting. But you know that that was to avoid controversy. Um, it wasn't because Timothy needed to be saved. You can already see that that's not what Paul believed. Uh, it was by, saved by uh, his faith in Jesus is what saved Timothy. But what, so why was Timothy circumcised? So he wouldn't cause uh, problems. You know, everybody knew his father was Greek and his mother was Jewish. Uh, so so just be circumcised and then then uh, come with me. Uh, so uh, the Paul then travels through all the places that he uh, had been in Lystra, Derby, Iconium, went back to Antioch and Pisidia, I'm sure, and, and telling them, this is what the apostles told us at, at the Jerusalem Council. Um, you know, he'd sent the letter of Galatians up there, but now he's verbally meeting with them and, and affirming what he said, and the churches were strengthened in numbers. Um, well, so then uh, Paul, he... he he take he and Silas and Timothy. Uh, where are they going to go next? So let's look on the map. Uh, so Paul and Silas and Timothy. Then they they head up. Uh, you know they're they're basically crossing modern day Turkey, uh, and they they go through the province of, of Asia uh, and Bithynia, my Asia. But it says that the the spirit of Jesus and the Holy Spirit stopped them from preaching in these places. Um, and I'm wondering, where do we go next? And then Paul has a vision. So while Paul's in Troas, he has a vision of a man from Macedonia. And where is Macedonia? Uh, Macedonia is over here. This is Macedonia on the map. Uh, so, so let's zoom out more. Here's Italy and Rome. This is the peninsula, with Greece, and so the northern part of the peninsula we call Macedonia. The southern part is is is, is Greece. 
Um, so uh, Paul crosses then from uh, from Troas to, uh, to to Macedonia, and the first place he goes is Philippi. Um, so Philippi, if we uh, in in chapter sixteen, when they Philippi was a Roman colony, it was an important Roman city, and, and there wasn't a synagogue there. They go to a place of prayer, uh, and uh, there's some women there, and one woman, a God fearer, so she's a Gentile, but but she feared God, uh, and she she would sell purple cloth, uh, so she was probably fairly well to do. But she was listening to Paul, and the Lord opened her heart, and she responded to Paul's message. Uh, and she, she and her whole household believed and were baptized, and, and she had Paul stay with them for a while. Uh, but then Paul goes, uh, while, while he's there in Philippi, they see a, a young woman uh, with some handlers, and this woman is a slave, She and she's telling people's fortunes for money. Uh, and as, as, as she she's following Paul and she points at Paul's like these men these men they're proclaiming to you the way of salvation they're servants of God and she she keeps pointing to Paul I you know she's demon possessed but recognizing that Paul is sent from God well Paul gets annoyed and he casts the demons out I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her and it was so the demons left her and then that leads her handlers her owners to not have uh, a source of income. So they go and take Paul and Silas before the, ch the chief magistrates, uh, like before the court, and put them in prison. But in prison, uh, Paul and Silas, you know, they're worshiping the Lord. God brings an earthquake in the middle of the night, and the jail, the doors are broken open. The jailer, uh, the prison guard there, uh, he, he saw all the prisoners are escaping uh, so I need to kill myself. So he takes out a sword to kill himself. And then Paul says, hey, no, stop. We're still here. We haven't left. And then so the jailer, uh, he comes in, he kneels down before Paul and says, what must I do to be saved? And Paul and Silas share the gospel with them uh, and with everybody in his house. They, they, they uh, and everybody, they're baptized right away. The first thing that jailer, he believes he and his household, they're baptized too. So now Lydia's uh, been and her family's been saved. The jailer and his family's been saved, uh, and then they eat together. Uh, the, the Paul points out, "I'm a Roman citizen. You weren't supposed to put me in prison and beat me without a trial." And the government leaders are a little bit nervous about that, and so they send Paul away. Um, and so Paul leaves, then, uh, but leaves behind Lydia and uh, Philippi uh, and, and that jailer and encourages the brothers and sisters. Um, but then he heads to a place called Thessalonica. So where's Thessalonica, you might ask? Thessalonica is, well, where is Thessalonica? Why is it not showing on my map? Around here somewhere. That's embarrassing. Here it is. There we go. That's farther than I thought. Okay, so here's Philippi. Oh, I just zoomed in a long ways. Thessalonica. Uh, so uh, he, he stops in a few other places too, but the, the main action of the story next is in Thessalonica. And so in Thessalonica, he goes uh, first, he goes to the synagogue um, because there is one there. And uh, as, as he usually did. That was his pr practice. And for three Sabbath days, so that means three weeks, he was there teaching them from the scriptures, explaining that Jesus is the Messiah. The Messiah had to suffer and raise from the dead. And he said, this Jesus is the Messiah. So he taught for, th for, for three weeks. Uh, 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 some of them were persuaded. A large number of God-fearing Greek, God Greeks, so Gentiles, they were persuaded. Some of the women were persuaded, but then some of the Jews became jealous, and they they bring together a mob. And you know, Jason was one of the new believers who was letting Paul stay in his house. Well, they take Jason and drag him into the middle of the city, and start shouting at him and and uh, accusing him and and saying, "These men who turned the world upside down, they're here too." And Jason's welcomed him. Uh, so 
Uh, they're acting contrary to Caesar's decrees. They're saying Jesus is the king. Jesus is the Lord. And so the crowd heard these things. They were very upset. And Jason has to put up bail, essentially. And so Paul has to leave the city. So in the middle of the night, Paul and Silas, they sneak away from Thessalonica. So they, they had a, a group of believers, and even the believers in Thessalonica began to suffer. But then there's this riot, and they... Uh, have to leave in the middle of the night. Uh, they they go to Berea. The Bereas they they uh, they hear the scriptures too, and they're looking through the scriptures with Paul that Jesus is the Messiah, and they receive the word with eagerness there. So many believed, including Greek women and men too. But then the Jews from Thessalonica they found out Paul and Silas were in Berea, and they come down there and chase them out. So Paul and Silas then go to the coast. Um, so. Thessalonica is here, Berea is here. They come down to the coast where they get onto a boat uh, and to sail down, uh, sail down here. And from the grammar, it's a little hard to tell uh, what, when Timothy leaves. Uh, so wh whether he leaves here or, or leaves here. But um, Paul is worried about the, the, uh, the Thessalonians. And so he sends Timothy back to check on them. So he sends Timothy uh, he says, Timothy, go back and check on the these new believers in Thessalonica. And then Paul comes down to the city of Athens. And Acts 17 tells about his time in Athens. And in Athens, he, he's talking in the marketplace uh, about Jesus, but he's then brought before, uh, like they say, he's teaching a, a new religion. So he's brought to the Areopagus and told to explain himself, what are these strange teachings you're bringing to us? And so in Acts 17, actually, let's turn to the Bible that you can see on here. Acts 17, uh, uh, so Paul is asked, what, what's this new teaching you're, you're presenting? It sounds strange to us. And then Paul says, uh, you know, I, I've looked around and seen you're a very religious people. There's lots of altars and temples and things. Uh, but here's an altar that says to an unknown God, I'm going to tell you about him, the God who made everything and the world and everything and every person. Uh, he, he, he's not served by human hands because he doesn't need anything. He gives us all life and breath and everything. And it's, it's, it's every people of every nation who live. He, he's the one who assigned all the nations to where they live. He determined where the, uh, each of us will be so that uh, all people may reach out to him and find him. You see here, Paul saying it's not just for the Jews. It's for all people that God always why did he have all these different nations? It's so that all of us may come and reach out to him and find him, he, even though he's not far from us. And then Paul does something interesting. In, in Athens, he is he preaching the gospel. He's He quotes the Greek uh, poets. He, he, he says, even your own poets have said, for we also are his offspring. So uh, since we're God's offspring, and he goes on. Uh, but he gets the part about Jesus' resurrection. Um, he provides proof. You know, Paul says he's provided proof to this by raising him from the dead. And when he began talking about the resurrection from the dead, that leads to some controversy. And Paul has to leave uh, their presence. But some of them believed. Some people there believed. Dionysius and a woman named Damaris and some others. Um, but then Paul goes to Corinth. So where's Corinth? So this is we're still on a second missionary journey, You know, he, which he first went to visit the second missionary journey, he, he first comes up through Galatia, then he goes to Troas, he crosses to Philippi, goes to Thessalonica, Berea, and then he, he, he has to come down here. He went to Athens, and the next place he goes, that's Timothy's journey. We're still on Aquilus. Here we go. So this is the next place he goes. He goes from Athens to Corinth. So Corinth is this city here. Corinth is a major uh a major city it was a trading you see how it's on this uh, like they could actually cross boats here they had to pick up the boat and carry it but but boats would sail into this harbor uh and so, so that created a this to be a big a place of trade uh and so uh corinth was it was a, a big time business city it was known for like a city of of pleasure and not necessarily good morals um there um, but paul spends uh, some time there. And when Paul's in Corinth, he's uh, Timothy, 
uh, comes down from, remember he sent Timothy up to Thessalonica to say, check on them. Well, Timothy comes down and meets Paul in Corinth and talks to Paul and says, hey, the Thessalonians, uh, so I talked with them and they seem to be doing good, but some of them had died and they were a little worried that maybe Jesus is coming back already. And, uh, and so they have some questions. And so while Paul's in Corinth, he writes the letters of first and second Thessalonians. Uh, so first Thessalonians first, and then soon after he sends second Thessalonians. And he writes these letters uh, while he's here in the city of Corinth. Um, and so, so in the book of Acts, you can see what he does in the city of Corinth. Uh, while he's in Corinth, let's see, we're in Acts 18. Um, he meets a Jew named Aquila, um, whose wife is Priscilla. And the, the, Priscilla and Aquila, they had had to leave Rome because there's a disturbance in Rome, probably the Jews arguing about over the Christ, over Jesus. Um, but Claudius asked all the Jews to leave Rome, so he forced them out. So they were kind of exiled out of Rome. And, and so uh, Paul meets uh, these exiled the, the, the Pris Priscilla and Aquila in um in Corinth, and he works with them. They were tent makers. Paul was a tent maker. So they're making tents probably for, there was a Colosseum uh, or, or like a, a place where the gladiators would, would do chariot races. Paul was probably there with Aquilas making tents to sell the people. But while he's there doing that, he's also going every Sabbath to the synagogue and, and persuading both Jews and Greeks that Jesus is, is the Messiah. Um, well, uh, eventually that gets him in trouble. Um, and the Jews reject uh, the message. And so Paul then says, I'm going to the Gentiles. Uh, and he goes to the house of, of, of uh, uh, Titius Eustace, a worshiper of God, uh, whose house was right next door to the synagogue. And so he keeps them teaching the gospel there. And Paul, Paul, you know, he'd been beaten. He'd been chased around. But God says, stay here. Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm with you. Nobody's going to hurt you. And so Paul stayed there in Corinth a year and a half. Um, so eventually he gets put pulled before uh, he, he gets put on, put on trial to the governor or the, the pro council of the area Gallio, which is interesting. When we get to First Second Corinthians, I'm going to tell you about him. But let's skip it now. Um, and, and basically, after Paul's in Corinth, he 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 says goodbye. Uh, to them there, and he takes Priscilla and Aquila with him, and they they go back to Ephesus, and then they return uh, to Caesarea, and then to Jerusalem. So that ends his second journey, his second missionary journey. Um, which where's the map? Oh, I click on Atlas. Here we go. So um, his second missionary journey ends. Let's see if I can get a line that shows. So from Corinth, they cross over to Ephesus. Here's Ephesus. And Paul leaves, it says he leaves off Priscilla and Aquila. They stay in Ephesus. And then Paul continues on to uh, back uh, to Caesarea and then into Jerusalem and kind of reports on what he did on this second missionary journey. So that, that concludes Paul's second missionary journey. See, uh, a significant thing on this journey. So he starts a church in Philippi. There's some believers there. Uh, starts a church in Thessalonica. Those are both in Macedonia. So remember, Macedonia. Where's Macedonia? That northern part of Greece. Uh, so Paul starts some t two churches there, uh, and, and maybe in Berea also. And then uh, he comes down to the Achaia, or Greece, and the, the southern part. In the southern part, he goes to the city of Athens, and then Corinth. And he spends a significant time in Corinth. So Athens is like over here, Corinth is over here. And uh, they're close to each other. I, I just want you to know Athens and Corinth are both in Greece. And while Paul's in Corinth, that's when he writes the letters of 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. And that's the subject of our next lecture.